special group of guys. Um, normally there's standard comments by night, by day, I don't know. Um, but it seems in their spare time they've been working on projects to, in order to serve the world and make things a better place. And they are here to present some of their ideas. So please welcome to the stage. Sumuk, <laughs> Tom Galakar, <laughs> and uh, Justin Ball. Thanks to Nathan for the proper Indian pronunciation of the name. Hello, everyone. Uh, last night, President Obama delivered his State of the Union address, and already it's broken up much of a controversy the GOP, the Democrats, all at arms over the speech. And of course, the State of the Union also affects the world as we know it. And here today, Justin Golak is here to speak about solving the world's problems and what he believes could be of assistance to that issue. Uh, thank you very much for that intro, Sumek. Uh, we uh, believe there's a lot of problems in the world that need to be solved. And we're looking for new and interesting ways to solve these problems. So today, I will be giving a presentation to you guys about solving the world's problems with Jean-Claude. Yes. <laughs> 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 solving the world's problems with Jean-Claude and uh, Mr. Golak. But, of course, energy is a topic that's a hot topic. Everyone is going green, as they say. How do you see solving the world's problems with Jean-Claude Van Damme in terms of energy? Well, uh, in terms of energy, I believe we can solve the world's problems with Jean-Claude Van Damme with three words. Roundhouse kick energy. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> roundhouse kick energy is a very unique type of energy. Relatively safe if you are not in the area of the roundhouse kick. Um, it produces no nuclear waste, and as we'll explain in a minute, it is virtually renewable for the foreseeable future. Um, we've done some tests and spoke with some experts uh, to try to find out more about roundhouse kick based energy. Um, we found out that one roundhouse kick can generate enough energy to power the city of Las Vegas for seven years. <laughs> What's more interesting, though, is one jumping roundhouse kick can generate enough energy to power the state of Nevada for three weeks. <laughs> That's all good in terms of <laughs> in terms of Nevada, Las Vegas. But what's the greater output? How can this sustain? This can sustain um, through uh, what we like to call the revenge factor. <laughs> <laughs> Now, normal humans like me, you, and the audience here, uh, we, um, we create energy uh, in a very normal sort of way. A normal human eats food, that food contains calories, those calories are burned, and then energy is created. But Jean-Claude Van Damme, he creates energy when some of his balls <laughs> or handicapped <laughs> uh, Using this system, uh, we could have a seemingly endless supply of um, energy. Um, also, uh, if no one that he's related to or close to is found, a woman who must be attractive will be placed in distress, causing a similar effect. Um, <laughs> Ups the ante of what we can deliver with roundhouse kick energy. This sounds violent and complex. A bit. Uh, how else can we go about doing this? Well, there is one more way that you can create more energy using John Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Yeah. But how 
do we increase the scale? Uh, well, it's something that we looked at as you saw our stats. Uh, you know, you know, even powering Las Vegas for a few nights, uh, while great, and, you know, that's not really a long-term solution. But we thought of ways to combat that. Uh, one of them is VDTLP, which stands for Van Damme Twin Location <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you've seen movies like Maximum Risk or Double Impact, you realize that Van Damme has twins he didn't even know about located all over the <laughs> world. <laughs> uh, we, we currently have a team of about 10 volunteers scouring the globe in different countries, mostly in Tokyo's. Uh, looking uh, for uh, uh, different John claude Van Dams that might be out there. Uh, so, you know, as of right now, from documented footage, we know there's at least four John claude Van Dams, uh, but we really assume that there could be more, and we're really excited about those possibilities. This is all very nice, but I still want to play an active role as well. What are the small things anyone in the audience or myself could do? Um, well, uh, well, the, the things you could do is you could support some of the other programs we have going on. Uh, one of the other programs we have going on is BTC, sorry, BDC TP, which is the Van Damme Cloning and Training Program. <laughs> uh, now, we realize there might be lots of twins out there, but not enough to sustain full-fledged energy. But we realize from movies like Replicant that for some reason Jean-Claude Van Damme is the most easily clonable <laughs> on the face of the earth. So creating more Jean-Claude Van Damme's could be fairly easy. Things that you could even more easily do uh, just on a daily basis, uh, right now it's the winter. I'm sure a lot of you are using natural gas or something to heat your home, which is not really cost effective and <clears throat> expends a lot of energy. Uh, so what we'd like to do is if you talk to us after the show, we can get you a copy of this picture. Um, if you hang this picture in your house, it will create enough heat energy to heat your house at 72 degrees in one week. Um, it has some side effects. If you are a woman, uh, you do not want to get closer than 10 feet to this picture or you may accidentally become pregnant. Yeah. <laughs>